In this lesson, we will learn about order by distinct and limit. Let's start by order by. Order by is used to sort in ascending or descending order. So based on the columns that we have specified, we can sort the data being fetched in ascending or descending order. So suppose this was the query we were trying to run. So select something from a table where we had specified some conditions. So at the end of it, we can add order by and specify the columns by which we want to order and then specify the order in which we want them ascending or descending. So this is the syntax for order by. Let's look at a couple of examples to understand it. So here I have a table employee and what am I saying here? Select star from employee order by salary ascending. So we are saying we will select all the rows from employee and then order by ascending. So now if we can look at the output, so the output has been ordered by the, the column salary in ascending order. So all the rows have gotten sorted in ascending order and we see this respective value. So 2 James 2000 which was the lowest for salary has become the first record. Okay, so this is how we would sort by or order by ascending. The same query if we say select star from employee order by salary descending, we would get it in descending order. So which is the maximum salary? It's 9000 Kathy. So that becomes the first row. Then we get 5 Amy 8500 which is the second highest salary and so on. So this is how we would order by descending. So this is descending order. Let's look at one more example. So here we have a table products which has the columns ID, name, price and quantity. And what are we saying? Select star from products order by quantity ascending. So quantity ascending means we will start with the first, the smallest which is 5, then we will get 10, then we will get 15 and then we will get 20 which is what we have gotten here. So 5 and the row corresponding to 5 which was 3 call gate 8 comma 5 so that's become the first row the second is corresponding to 10 which is 1 coke 2 10 which is what we see here and so on so this is order by then there is this distinct so what is distinct distinct is used to remove all duplicates and fetch unique values so if you want to fetch unique values we will use distinct so how do we specify it select and before specifying the column names, we would say distinct. So it would remove all the duplicates from these columns. So if we have specified more than one column, it will look at distincts across all. So all the values have to be the same to be for it to be removed, for it to be called a duplicate. Let's look at a couple of examples. So here we are saying select distinct price from products. So let's look at price. So we have what are the distinct so 2 and 2 are common so it will not select it so we will get 2, 8 and 4. So we have, dis we have selected distinct price from products. Let's say when we said select distinct name from products so distinct name from products we have these 5 names here so Coke, Pepsi, Colgate, Snickers and Coke. So Coke is duplicate. So what do we get here? Coke, Pepsi, Colgate, Snickers. So we get four names which are the unique names. Suppose we said select distinct name comma price. So we are selecting two columns name comma price from products. So now let's look at it. Coke 2, Pepsi 2, Colgate 8, Snickers 4, Coke 3. Now is Coke 3 and Coke 2 the same here? Because we are selecting name comma price, both of these had to be identical for it to be a duplicate. So Coke 2 and Coke 3 are different because one of the columns in them is different. So now when we select this, when we run this query, what do we get? Coke 2, Pepsi 2, Colgate 2, Snickers 4 and Coke 3. Why do we get Coke 3? Because Coke 3 is not same as Coke 2. We are doing distinct on both the columns. Okay. Select distinct name comma price from products 
order by name ascending. So at the end of it, in any query, we can do an order by. So here we are saying the same query as the previous one, but we are ordering it by name ascending. So which is the first name? Coke. So we get both the rows corresponding to Coke. Then we get Colgate, then we get Pepsi and we get Snickers. So we have ordered by name in ascending order. Okay. Then there is this keyword limit. How do we use it? Keyword limit is used to fetch limited number of records. So this is supported by MySQL and it is used to fetch limited number of records. So if you want to limit the number of records, we would use it and like order by at the end we would specify limit. So the last thing we would specify is limit at the end of the query. Let's look at an example. Here we are saying select star from employee order by salary ASC ascending. So we are ordering by salary in ascending order and we are saying limit 3. We had run this query earlier. Let's look at it. So we had run this query select star from employee order by salary ascending. So now when we do limit 3, which means we will get only 3, the first 3 records. Limit 3 would mean first 3 records, which means we would get James, Julia and Alex. Let's look at what we got here. We get, get James, Julia, Alex. So the first 3 records are only returned instead of getting all of them. So that is what limit 3 has done here. Similarly, we are saying here select star from products order by quantity descending limit 4. Now, let's look at order by quantity descending. So the first one will be 30 because it's the max. Then we get 20. Then we are getting 15 and then we are getting 4. And now we have selected 4 rows. So the limit 4 would prevent cap it at 4. So here we are getting those 4 records. So limit has helped us select 4. If we had no limit, we would have selected all the six in this case. So limit can be used if you want to find the maximum two, the two largest or the suppose we want to find the three most expensive employees or the three employees who have the highest salary. So or the three employees we have, which have the lowest salary. So in this case, we were able to find the three lowest employees, three employees with the lowest salary. So that is one application of limit. Similarly, here we were able to find the fourth most top four products, which are the maximum number of quantity. So we were able to find them. So this is the application of limit.